Jonathan Crispus, the sole member of House Crispus. Having burned his face in an accident cooking chicken, he claimed that the resulting dragon-like scar on his face was a miracle of the Lord of Light. He took the name Crispus and declared himself the first of his name, his sigil a black fiery drumstick on a yellow field. His words are blackened but not jerked. Girl, Death's Dentist, also called the Lesser Lord of Enamel, she was a wildling an early romantic companion of the Lord of Bones. She was also called the Prattle Shirt for her penchant for small talk. Her signature armor, made of giant's teeth sometimes taken against their will, is also said to be the cause of her mysterious disappearance. Frenton Crake, known colloquially as the Half Dick, not for any genitalia based reason, but because of his height and sour demeanor. The Crakes have a propensity for dwarfism, which was the inspiration for their sigil, a white kraken with only four tentacles. Their rather self-conscious words are closer to the drowned god. Norbert the Kneeler, an exiled wildling who became a jester in Asos. He lost his legs to frostbite in their journey from Hardholm, an outpost of the free folk north of the wall. His filed teeth often scare children, but his ability to juggle with his legs sometimes wins them back. Corbin Cloud Scarf The cloud scarfs are known for their puffy, curly hair, due in part to genetics, and in part to the particular wind and atmospheric conditions present in the high mountains of the Vale, where they pursue an almost ascetic life. Their sigil is a white cloud with a lightning fist on a light blue field. Their words are Fluffiness is strength. Olivar Fat Snakes. House Fat Snakes are the bannermen of Dorne. They are known for their alleged macabre method of torture that involves the feeding of body parts to their large snakes. They are also known as the originators of many of the spicy delicacies of Dorne, hence their prodigious size. Their sigil is a green snake with an inflated body on a yet greener field. Their verbose words are Heavy are the scales that swallow their prey. Melinda of the Melons Many claim her to be a legend. Little is known about the silent sister called Melinda of the Melons. In many a tavern in Westeros, injured and enamored warriors claim that if you fall in battle and are still awake by the hour of the owl, Melinda will appear and attend to your wounds, physical, emotional, and libidinal.